Good morning, and welcome to the Gremlin News Network. These ears are not attached to my head. Today's top story, socialism. Why is everybody complaining about it? Socialism is a good thing. We need this in our lives. Anyone who says otherwise is obviously not paying attention to mainstream media. Socialism. It is designed to help us. It is designed to give us what we need. Socialism is going to include a package of universal basic income, also known as unconditional basic income, UBI. The universal basic income will pay every American a minimum of $5,000 monthly, preventing you from having to go to work or do absolutely anything ever. As we know, many Americans hate their jobs. I hate my job. As an American who hates his job, why would you complain about free money? Why would you speak out against universal basic income? $5,000 a month sounds very good. This equals $60,000 a year. Over the past several decades, inflation has caused every price of absolutely everything to go up. This includes your basic needs, food, water, fuel, electricity, sewers. Inflation has caused the prices of all of these things to skyrocket, even more so in the past 24 months. Ever since the 2020 pandemic, where toilet paper has gone completely astray from the United States, we have seen inflation on many things, including what's left of our toilet paper supply. The unemployment rate of the United States is currently 6.7%. I am almost positive that all 6.7% of people on unemployment would be very happy to receive a check for $5,000 per month. Why would you not want this? Free dollars for everyone. There are many that argue that the dollar is completely worthless as it is. So why would you complain that they're giving you free? They're just handing them to you. You have to do absolutely nothing for them. Why would you complain about this? What is wrong with you people? Here in the United States, most people are concerned that we are heading into a Great Depression. I'm here to tell you that that probably is true. Because millions and millions of Americans do not want socialism and do not want free money. They continually speak out against free money. They continually say that they do not want it, that the government can take it and shove it. What is wrong with these people? We're talking free money here. Never mind the fact that if you start handing out free money that it completely devalues it and makes it completely worthless. It's worthless already. Take as much free money as you can get while it's still being used to barter. The current administration, under President Joe Biden, is saying that we are in a financial crisis and therefore trying to push through a financial crisis package. This is designed to help all Americans, giving each household and each individual in a household up to $1,400 in a third stimulus check. With the national debt being close to $28 trillion, obviously we can afford it. If we are able to be in debt for $28 trillion, we can afford pretty much anything. Simply print out more money and hand it around. This is not a problem. It will not kill the economy any more than it's already been killed. Why is it such a big deal? Free money. It's never a bad thing. Included in the Biden financial crisis package, we are said to get a $3,600 child tax credit. The Democrats are saying they will push this bill through without the support of the Republican Party. This is a good thing. 
If only one party controls the entire system, then there is no more arguing or debate. They can just do whatever they want, in any time they want, without any op opposition whatsoever. This is a good thing. It has worked for many countries throughout the world for decades. Countries that include China, Russia, the USSR, Rome. It has worked for all of them. In other news, gun control. As we are all aware, there is a bill, H.R. 127. H.R. 127 is to designed to protect you from yourself. No American should have the right to freely own a firearm and just use it to defend themselves anytime they want, like the 500 to 3 million Americans that use a firearm to defend themselves every single year. This is completely unacceptable. No American should be allowed to do this. So for that, the government is presenting us with H.R. 127. This is a Firearms Registration Act. It will require you to register not only every firearm you own, including all semi-automatics, it will also require you to register all the ammunition that you own. This is a good thing. This will protect us from ourselves. We should not be able to protect ourselves from others, potentially causing death and harm to people who just want to steal your stuff. We need to be able to be protected from ourselves. So the government is so graciously putting out H.R. 127 to protect us. They are even going to force us to have an insurance on all the firearms we own. Up to $800 monthly for the insurance policies to make sure that your firearms don't randomly go off and shoot someone on its own. In the event that your firearm gets up, walks out of your house and shoots someone, without your consent or your permission or even your knowledge, you will have insurance protecting yourself against the damage that your firearm has done. It would allow you to pay the medical bills or funeral services of whoever your firearm harms. So keep this in mind when you are sleeping at night. Someone is trying to get into your house just because they are hungry and your firearm discharges and hurts them. You will be protected by your insurance paper. Additionally, with HR 127, they are going to require you to keep your firearms stored in a safe location within your home, telling you exactly where and what you can do inside of your own house. This is a good thing. We cannot have people doing whatever they want in their own homes. This is completely unconstitutional. People need to be aware that your home is not your castle. If your home was your castle, it would be made more sturdy and not out of cheap pine wood, first off. You should not be free to do whatever you want, especially in your own home. Moving on, the state of Missouri and several other states around the Union are trying to pass bills called HB 85 and HB 310. These unconstitutional states are calling this the Second Amendment Preservation Act. Members of the Missouri House gave approval to legis legislation meant to protect the Second Amendment rights of Missourians against an overreaching federal government. Completely unconstitutional. The Second Amendment Preservation Act is a bill that protects law-abiding gun owners from potential gun control legislations that could be passed in Washington, D.C. It states that laws and other actions that prohibit the manufacture, ownership, and use of firearms, firearm accessory, accessories, and ammunition within Missouri exceed the powers granted to the federal government. It also declares that all federal laws, acts, and orders that infringe on Missourian Second Amendment rights are invalid in the state. Other states include Texas and Florida that are attempting to pass similar legislation, blocking our federal government from doing their job at making sure that we cannot defend ourselves freely. 
This is completely unconstitutional for you to want to defend yourself. In other news, in New York State, they are doing the constitutional thing and helping us protect ourselves from ourselves by making sure that we are no longer allowed to own body armor. Body armor is a dangerous thing for you and for me and for all of your neighbors. If you own body armor, I encourage you, turn it in now. Body armor is dangerous, like I said. It prevents you from being wounded in the event that you are trying to protect yourself from someone who is just breaking into your home to get food. How dare you? This is un-American. It is completely un-American and unbiblical to protect yourself against somebody breaking into your home. If they want your food, you should just give it to them. Be sure to open your jewelry box and give them that as well so that they don't have to rob your neighbor and they can just go to the grocery store at this point. If you have any cash on hand, be sure to give that to them also. This will save them the trouble of breaking into every house along your neighborhood. Un-American. I am ashamed and appalled at Americans today that do not want socialism in their lives. The national debt is almost $28 trillion, and there is no way we will ever pay that off, not in anyone's lifetime, not for the next 1,000 years, at the current rate of inflation. Giving everyone a UBI, or universal basic income, is the only solution to this problem. Printing more money and passing it out to every American is the only solution. There is no other way to solve this problem. Additionally, $15 an hour minimum wage is completely ridiculous. This should be no less than $25 an hour for every American. At $15 an hour, it has already been proven that most Americans cannot feed their family and pay their basic bills such as water, electric, and sewer. $15 an hour just does not cover this. We need this to be a minimum of $25 an hour. Otherwise, most Americans will not be able to feed their families. Never mind the fact that the more we increase the minimum wage, the more inflation we will see and the more the prices will go up. This is information that you just don't need to have. We are not going to tell you this. We are not going to run the numbers. We are not going to do the math. And we are not telling you this at all. This is useless information. All you need to know is that with $15 an hour minimum wage, many Americans will still not be able to feed their families. And we should definitely increase this to $25 per hour. The Biden administration has said that without the $15 minimum wage, our country will be in a financial crisis. Without the financial crisis package, we will continue to see millions of Americans fall into poverty. With the financial crisis package, we are going to completely remove the middle class. We did not need them anyway. The middle class are an unconstitutional class of people who believe in Second Amendment rights, protecting their homes and their families, and working for a living. There is something wrong with these people. I encourage everyone, sign your petitions now. Make sure that the new stimulus package gets passed. Make sure that H.R. 127 gets passed so that we can protect ourselves from ourselves. Today in the weather, in the weather today, we have multiple reports of snow falling all over the world in places where snow has never fallen before. We are seeing landslides, mudslides, extreme weather that we have never seen all around the world. And I'm here to tell you that this is the fault of former President Donald Trump. Donald Trump has failed to turn over the weather control systems to the new administration. The weather control systems that control all the weather throughout the world. These weather control systems make everything a sunny 70 degrees all over the planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, only giving rain to crop areas where it is needed. 
Former President Trump is refusing to pass this to President Biden, stating that Biden is unable to even stand, make decisions, or think for himself. Why would he give up such power? So we are going to continue with the impeachment of President Donald Trump to make sure that all the power he still holds as former President of the United States is removed from him, assuring that he can no longer run for the presidency in the year 2024. America, what have we become when people don't want free money to be able to quit their jobs, just stay at home with their families? When people want to defend themselves against possible people that are just hungry and need your food? What have we become? I am appalled at what our nation has become. This has been the Gremlin News Network. Thank you for watching. Remember, you can support the Gremlin News Network by giving all your free money to me. Links are in the description. Have a very good day.